guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have this copper eyes with some dark brown reddish lips <laughs> i don't know i've been trying to do like brown lips this whole time but it kept turning out kind of red but i kind of like how it turned out hope you guys do too i partnered up with soul apothecary for this video um so i did use some of the products from them you'll see my first impressions on them in this video i will leave their link right here and also in the description box so be sure to check them out and yeah i'm not gonna talk too much let's just jump right into the tutorial if you want to see how i got this look Okay, you guys, so as you notice, I have a new background. I'm testing out different backgrounds just to experiment. Let me know if you like a muffer background. I like it, it's so soft. <laughs> so for the eyes, I'm gonna be priming it with my soft ochre paint pot. This will help cancel out any weird tones on the lid. So that's why I love using this one. It's so pigmented. So uh, recently I found out about this website called Soul Apothecary, I think. I'm not I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it right. You just know I suck at pronouncing things, but they have um, a really good skincare line and also makeup line. So they sent me this eyeshadow palette and a couple other things that I'm gonna be using in this tutorial. Let's just go in to these browns right here. And I'm taking my Makeup Shack blending brush right here. It's just a fluffy brush. This is gonna act as our transition shade. You guys already know the drill. Ooh, those colors are actually really, really nice colors for transition. Mm, and they blend out really easily and really nicely Okay, I'm loving it so far next. I'm gonna go into my Z palette. You guys ask about this palette all the time Oh, this is what it looks like by the way, but um, this is all makeup geek eyeshadows if you guys want me to do like a favorite single shadows type of video and most of these actually all of them are from makeup geek let me know I'd be happy to do so so I'm going to dig into Coco Bear right here onto the crease just kind of to deepen it up a little bit more and you want to just blend it out really good really really well so I'm gonna be mixing chickadee and early bird together and I'm gonna pop that those colors also into the crease but kind of on the upper part almost like on the brow bone I want to say oh and this brush is the Morphe R34 I'm switching to my Morphe M330 and I'm just gonna pick up a little more of that Coco Bear and focusing it on the lower crease area so right about here just on the outer crease just want to build up that color so I'm gonna dip into this dark brown color right here oh yeah it looks really pretty actually just gonna focus that on the outer parts the outer V swirl it around with a very light hand moving on to the fun part I'm gonna take makeup geek flame thrower this is such a gorgeous gorgeous like orangey rusty coppery color oh I am obsessed with this color so I'm just gonna take my Sedona lace EB 11 yes hunty you guys see that color though literally so stunning this is why I freaking love makeup geeks foiled shadows they're just so freaking pigmented and then I'm gonna go back into the dark brown to the more fun part we are gonna use this MAC Glitter in Copper Sparkle and just pop it right over top. It's just like a really subtle sparkle. 
So I went ahead and added some wing liner, some mascara, and some lashes. We're gonna be using the Misha Radiance Makeup Base. It looks like this. This one's also from Soul, Soul Apothecary. It's like a light green consistency. You can see that. Let me see. Whoa. Okay, it's um, pigmented. So I'm guessing I'm just gonna really cancel out the redness. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is something I'm really not used to. Okay, so for foundation, I guess I'm just gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundations. And this one is in Nude Beige and Warm Beige. So, so far the foundation is gliding on really, really well on top of that primer. It really helped neutralize my skin tone before putting on foundation, which is interesting. Now the foundation's on, we're just gonna highlight. And I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealers in Light Ivory and Yellow Corrector. So before setting our um, cream products, I'm going to try out their um, liquid highlighter. This is in number two. I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and push it into the skin. Oh my god. It's giving me such a pretty, like, natural um, glow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ooh, I'm loving it. And it blends out like a dream. Like it's not even hard to blend. To set my highlighted areas, like my concealer areas, I'm gonna be using my RCMA powder. You guys know. You guys know this by now. I don't know why, but I've been baking lately. Not in the kitchen, but my face. <laughs> So to highlight, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Strobe Light in 80 Watt and 50 Watt. Oh my goodness. I am living, living for this. And we're going to go in with our bronzer. What's new? I'm using my L'Oreal True Match in Coco. So now let's wipe away the bacon powder. We're gonna go back to Coco Bear with our elf brush first. And then going into the dark brown hair from the palette. I'm gonna focus that on the outer corner and bring it halfway. Then I'm gonna be mixing Early Bird and Chickadee on my Sigma brush. So first I'm gonna line my lips with the LA Girl Endless Lip Liner in the color True Brown. I'm just gonna be using Lime Crime Saddle. And I'm gonna mix in a hint of Ofra Brooklyn. All right guys, and this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social medias. They will be linked down in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye loves. Mwah.